uh, if we take an average uh, we can complete uh, it will take around 10 days per subject so that is 120 days for 12 subjects as till may to june i was in dilemma to join any college any college uh, i should join or not that is why you are getting disappointed uh, for not uh, getting good marks in mock tests etc it was in my heart that uh, i want to be an iitian some of the teacher do not uh, at all take exams like they will distribute marks to hey everyone so in this video i am going to discuss or have the interview with piyush upreti who is a mtech csc student at iit madras so i am going to discuss that how he got the motivation to write the gate exam what is his gate journey and what can be the things that one should focus during his gate journey and what are the things that one should focus after the gate that is post gate related suggestions and i'm going to discuss what are the things that one should focus or one should take care while he is studying at iit so let me tell you that piyush actually secured the uh, all india rank for 36 during gate 2020 and again in gate 2021 he uh, wrote the exam and he got 158 all india rank and after gate 2021 he joined iit madras so let's get benefited by his gate journey and let's understand how he got this uh, marvelous rank and the iit just by self study yes no coaching only self study so what are the things that one should focus during all these things okay so let's get benefited by his uh, motivating journey and let's welcome piyush upreti so hi piyush how are you hello sir i am fine how are you yeah i am good तो लेट स्टार्ट विद टूडेज इंटरव्यू तो पहला क्वेश्चन ये है कि आपने कब सोचा कि आपको इंजीनियरिंग ज्वाइन करना चाहिए और इसी के साथ साथ आप अपना इंट्रोडक्शन भी दीजिए यस सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम थैंकफुल टू मिस्टर दिलीप सर टू हैव मी हेयर सो लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ फर्स्ट आई एम पीयू सुप्रेति बेसिकली आई एम फ्रॉम चंपावत उत्तराखंड आई कम्पलीटेड माई बी इन कंप्यूटर साइंस फील्ड इट Uh, now coming to the point uh, how i moved to the engineering field basically when i was in 12th standard or let's say when i passed 12th standard because i was not quite sure what to do when i was in 12th so but uh, i was quite passionate about the computers but actually that time i was unaware of this programming and other stuffs even i was not having computer science as my subject in 12th standard but due to my interest in this field i joined be in computer science yeah and that was all about me and that was all about my journey towards engineering field so it was your interest towards the like uh, yes, engineering or the computer science yes sir okay. great so uh, like pius next question is ki when did you thought ki you should join the uh, gate or you can say when did you thought ki aapko गेट एग्जाम लिखना चाहिए और गेट एग्जाम लिखने के बाद दे आर मेनी अदर ऑप्शंस आल्सो लाइक अदर देन एम टेक लाइक यू कैन जॉइन पी एस यूज ऑल्सो ओके तो आपने कब सोचा कि गेट लिखना चाहिए और दूसरा उसके बाद एम टेक के पीछे आपका क्या मोटिवेशन था सो एक्चुअली आई डेंट डिसाइडेड इट टू मच अर्ली इवन नॉट आफ्टर नॉट आफ्टर थर्ड ईयर ऑफ माई बी Mm-hmm. the thought of gate exam came to my mind when i was in last sem of my engineering during placement time basically that means around 7th 8th semester right mm-hmm. yes sir okay uh, i was uh, placed in quite a few companies but then i dropped the idea to go for a job i thought of choosing a different path basically mm-hmm. so uh, some of my friends were already preparing for gate so i uh, googled and had a look for career opportunities after gate so i found that uh, that uh, there are uh, so much co- career opportunities after gate that like you can join psu if you are having good rank but actually i was uh, i was not interested in government jobs uh, i don't know why but uh, i i am not interested uh, as i am a csc student hmm. so uh, so i found there uh, i searched particularly for iits so i found there good it companies and almost all product based companies visits iits and uh, all other tier 1 colleges and gate was basically the gateway for those institutions so then uh, for some days uh, i searched a lot about gate exam and collected a lot of info about the same and then and then finally i decided yeah i will i will go for gate and uh, i started preparation for the same okay so uh, like uh, can you tell us 
uh, what was your uh, batch like uh, when did you pass out uh, from the btech actually uh, i passed out in 2019 and for the first time i gave get in 2020 and then uh, i reappeared for get in 2021 okay so what was your rank in the gate 2020 for the first time uh, for the first time i got the rank of 436 uh, in 436 yes sir. okay all india rank 436 all india rank 436 in 2020 for, and next time and next time i got uh, all india rank 158 158 Yes, so both sir. the ranks were like uh, very good rank or i can say like you can directly uh, get the iit i think also in the f- uh, first if like not the uh, best yeah, seven iits but get iits and all other top and it is i think uh, yeah. but then yeah due to certain okay. conditions i didn't join that okay okay so uh, like next question pius is ki uh, many times it happens ki or some people also ask to me uh, that mm-hmm. uh, after completing their btech if mm-hmm. uh, they are able to fetch a uh, good job mm-hmm. like let's say they are uh, getting the job in the amazon or in the any of the product based company or let's say any of the higher package company mm-hmm. should they uh, think for giving the Actually, or writing yeah. the gate exam yeah it depends on individual no like uh, yeah if you have prepared for get uh, for around one or two years and then at final year you get and get placed in some good companies uh, then uh, yeah you have two choices but uh, but yeah uh, let's keep both choices na then uh, give uh, get exam uh, like as you have thought before and uh, after that yeah if you if you think that yeah i should go for masters or i have to go for higher studies Uh, i have to live uh, iit life uh, then yeah you can proceed with uh, that path and otherwise uh, you you are kind of now support also like uh, if you didn't didn't get into any of the good institutions like then you can join the job also mm-hmm. yeah okay. so that's it it depends on individual individuals uh, like uh, yeah some yeah. some have, means... some dreams about iit like iit life uh, some yeah. cares for a tag of iit Hmm. Yeah. So that's all. And I think uh, if one student, let's say, have prepared for the gate, and let's say in their uh, seventh or eighth semester, whenever there is a placement, they get a uh, good high package company. I mm-hmm. think, as you said, he he or she should write the gate exam, mm-hmm. uh, so that because gate ex- uh, gate uh, score is valid for. Three years. Uh, yes, three years. Sir. Yes, sir. So maybe after joining the company for let's say one year, mm-hmm. he or she may thought. If he finds that uh, work that, is not good or yeah, yeah, yeah. any other problem, then he can. Then the same gate score yes. can be used uh, to get the uh, you can say admission admissions yeah. in the next yes. year. Yes, sir. Okay. So it is like if we have prepared, then it is okay. Then if, it's okay. Then yeah. Then, then, like, don't do like this. Then uh, like uh, if you are selected in any company, then you have also prepared for gate. Then you drop gate. No. Uh, give get exam then uh, you would have multiple choices yeah at least we have paid or we have filled the form then yeah, go yeah, yeah. and give yeah. the exam go and give the exam yeah go okay so next question is ki uh, what was your preparation strategy for the gate exam because maybe some of the people they will be uh, seeing this video after the gate uh, gate 2022 also mm-hmm. and they will be preparing for the next uh, gate exam mm-hmm. so what is your advice or i can say what is your preparation strategy for the gate exam how did you prepare yeah yeah so before talking about a strategy i would like to tell about how your mindset should be before starting preparation for the gate mm-hmm. so first and foremost thing um, that 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 not just apply to gate exam but is applicable um, for any exam any competitive exam uh, is that uh, your mindset is how is your mindset how you are going to tackle all th- all these things uh, for which you are going to start uh, and after finally deciding to go for a particular path try not to give up in between because because you know ups and downs are there in every path you will feel demotivated many of the times you will have pressure uh, but but uh, just think about result okay and believe me the person who is going to get air1 and you of course of course you might be one to secure air1 but yeah, i am trying to say that even the toppers of any competitive exam any competitive exam must have a feel of demotivation at certain times but the main key uh, to success is consistency consistency plays an important role uh, 
despite of uh, despite of this feeling of demotivation be co be confident and have a mindset like uh, yeah you can and you will succeed you will reach to your ultimate goal for which uh, you have started okay now coming to my strategy for gate cac firstly let me tell you about my journey and strategy for gate 2020 exam where i secured ir 436 so last semester of my be was uh, finished around uh, june 2019 that's when i started preparing for gate i bought some standard textbook for gate cse now as we know that there is a lot of material in standard textbook a lot of extra material also which you don't need to care for gate so first i started with previous year questions of gate to get to know about the pattern of gate exam and to know how frequently uh, and what are the topics that frequently occurs in the gate exam after seeing the pattern from previous year questions of course i was not able to solve them at that time but uh, uh, yeah i got to know about how to study for them then from the month of june i i made a plan uh, i created a chart to follow for different subjects okay let me tell you which subject then i started with the subject which i feel is most important is discrete mathematics and which i feel uh, we should start with because discrete mathematics plays a important role in covering other subjects also like graph theory mm -hmm. uh, if you understand it well uh, then it is helpful in algorithms and most importantly is combinatorics you know combinatorics is a topic uh, which will help you improving in your problem solving ability as gate uh, gate in get we can uh, there are more questions like uh, where where they will check your problem solving ability how you how you can apply logic to that that question so most of the question in get exam uh, that get exam are uh, based on concepts of uh, i think combinatorics and uh, probability so yeah my strategy uh, was like uh, like this uh, i will tell about my strategy i started with uh, discrete mathematics i covered subject in in depth wise means uh, first uh, one subject then one subject okay let me tell my strategy mm -hmm. for the first time for the first time i gave a time of around 10 days to each subject 10 days to each subject uh, that time i followed it consistently i used to take a topic from the subject and study it thoroughly uh, okay then uh, so there are around 12 subjects in gate cac uh, i gave 10 days each subject means uh, there were some subject like they they used to be completed in uh, 656 like, like digital or compiler they are small subjects hmm. um, if you are consistent then you can complete them in 5 to 6 days and other subjects some subjects uh, like coa computer network might take 12 to 13 days means um, if we uh, if we take an average uh, we can complete uh, it will take around 10 days per subject so that is 120 days for 12 subjects that is around for four months 120 to 130 days and that is around four months uh, so at around first week of october i completed all my subjects one time uh, i had my well prepared notes till that time then now as i need to revise all the subjects again i followed the same strategy but this time i gave four days per subject first two days to revise my notes and third day to give subject test from uh, you can take any test series mm. and then analyze it uh, i used to see my mistakes and uh, fourth day uh, to again look up at my mistakes i did in third day of test and then uh, again a quick revision uh, and then uh, again a subject test at fourth day so i used to give two subject tests at a third day and the fourth day uh, uh, in this way, I revised my subject uh, five uh, uh, five days per subject or four days per subject. You can say uh, in around two months, I completed my subject twice. Now, as uh, now as I uh, now previous time as I covered my subject like in depth wise, so to make sure that I was in uh, touch of all the subjects, in the month of December, I gave like four days to two subjects, like four days two subjects. Uh, four days, two subjects, and revise them well. Uh, at that time, I used to give multi tests for the subjects. I revised in uh, I revised in four days. In this way, I utilized December by doing two parallel subjects at a time. Now it was the month of January, uh, and I have completed subject thrice. I was uh, quite confident in almost all subjects. I started giving full length test. Uh, so I used to give full length test uh, every after uh, two to three days. I used to analyze them and then again revise the topics uh, for uh, i used to take uh, random topics and then revise them i am weak in 
सो आई गेव अराउंड टेन फुल टेस्ट इन द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी एंड आई अपियर फॉर गेट इन फेबररी सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट माई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी जर्नी नाउ नाउ कमिंग टू माई जर्नी ऑफ गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एज एज टिल मे टू जून आई वॉज इन डिलेमा टू जॉइन एनी कॉलेज एनी कॉलेज आई शुड जॉइन और नॉट विथ गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी स्कोर और नॉट सो अराउंड द मंथ ऑफ मे वेन आई वॉज सर आई हैव आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू जॉइन देन आई अगेन स्टार्ट एंड दिस टाइम आई वॉज हैविंग नॉलेज एंड ऑल्सो एन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ रियल गेट एग्जाम so this time i decided to revise using only test series so i i prepared using only test series i bought around three test series and started preparation i used to give um, around four days per subject initially and give their topic test uh, like i used to revise like this uh, like uh, i studied one topic and then gave it topic test because it was a good strategy to uh, do revision it is always good strategy to take uh, to give tests uh, so it motivate it motivates you to revise yeah right mm. uh, so i bought three test series and started preparation uh, i used to give four days uh, per subject i told now four days per subject uh, and uh, and then uh, when when once i completed all the subjects in two month i think then then i didn't care about the days i just used to take my any subject and complete it as now i don't uh, i don't used to take more than four to five days to complete a subject because because i was having grip in almost all subjects now yes, yes. now i just used to give a lot of tests analyze them and again then i used to revise them from the month of october itself i started giving full length test and i completed almost around 40 to 50 full length tests until gate 2021 mm-hmm. then i appeared for gate 2021 mm-hmm. so it was like quite uh, like You have given a good motivation to yeah. us, like, and your journey is telling me like, uh, what should uh, you focus and mm-hmm. like the main thing is consistency as you yeah. are, like focus on consistency. Uh, because gate is like a a big race or you can say marathon race mm-hmm. where yeah. uh, like some of the demotivation which come in between they should mm-hmm. not be motivate you. Yeah, they yeah. are like the obstacle which should. Uh, like uh, give you the motivation actually mm. to do better in the next test or the next time actually the only obstacle during during this is disappoint uh, disappointment to ourselves and demotivation this yeah. is the only op- obstacle and i think uh, uh, as you said ki these are the things which are like you can say normal or these are the things which are not particular for the gate these are the mm. things which will for any occur for anything in the mm. life Hmm. means after the gate exam after the m tech in the job it may happen or in any of the venture which mm-hmm. we can open uh, in our like lifetime this may come mm-hmm. so it should be like a, we we should be open open minded that be open minded yeah, yeah. and these yeah. are only way uh, which can make us better okay yeah obstacles are sure to come in and uh, one thing i like a uh, real much like uh, the one of the technical things that is probability and combination mm-hmm. or you can say permutation and combination yeah. probability these are the important thing that we should focus yeah because they help us to uh, they help uh, they help us to increase our problem solving ability yes yes and yeah we can see the gate itself gate full form is graduate aptitude test of engineering it's it kind of check your aptitude also aptitude right yeah so counting principles like combinatorial and probabilities probabilities plays major role in aptitude yeah, because uh, in because aptitude. they can come in the aptitude section mm. of the gate yeah. they can come in the another form yeah. in between yeah, yeah, our yeah, technical yeah, subject yeah, like in I the remember, i remember yeah i remember one question it was from quick so, uh, algorithms design and analysis of algorithms it was i think gate which algorithm sorry design and analysis of algorithms subject okay, okay, okay. so it was from that subject but the question was of probability like uh, it was from quick sort like uh, if in uh, if what is the probability that uh, pivot element can be placed at last Like that. For this, you need to know both quick sort also, quick sort partition algo also, and that probability also. Uh, actually, I realized this when I wrote the gate as well. Mm-hmm. DMC is like a very important. Question. Very important, yes, sir. You have told us what are the like uh, demotivating demotivating factor which can come, and mm-hmm. what is your journey. So some of the like uh, focus thing about the uh, like you can say you have told told us those. but what are the like don'ts 
which we should focus that we should not do this thing while we are preparing for our gap journey yeah so actually what the main main thing with the most of the gate gate aspirants do do during their preparation is that uh, after giving any test they they feel disappointed they get demotivated and leave their preparation there most of most of the aspirants do like this so but i would like to say that um, as now i have said that uh, these demotivations are the only obstacles you will face only they are the obstacles and nothing else is the obstacle but demotivation also you know gives you proof that you are uh, actually preparing you are seriously preparing uh, like that is why that is why that is why you are getting disappointed uh, for not uh, getting good marks in mock tests etc i would ask ki like sometime it happens ki uh, let's say we are preparing a topic in a particular subject mm -hmm. and uh, sometime it happens like we we are so much fond of that particular topic that we yeah, want to we, have we get, the mastery over that topic yeah. although that is not uh, yeah. so much required or that content is not required in the gate or that is not asked in the gate yeah, yeah. so we start learning more and more more and more and mm -hmm. so uh, yeah we revolve around the same topic for a long time uh, so yeah i think it takes a lot of time yeah, yeah, so much. we should also take care of the time that mm -hmm. we have to cover all the other subjects yeah yeah uh, so i told in my strategy na, like uh, i have given 10 days per subject hmm. like uh, for, like study like that you can complete the subject in uh, in the given time hmm. like uh, you know just make a schedule of how you are going to complete uh, any subject just that that just took an two or three hours to see all the topics and uh, how much time is uh, each topic going to cover how relevant is it to get and then go and go and study for that topic what should we do if uh, there are some of the topics which uh, are like very tough uh, mm -hmm. for some person let's say mm -hmm. so uh, should we like keep on uh, learning them again and again or should we like uh, say ki, okay i'm not able to understand this time but let's say i will cover after let's say in the second scan or i will mm -hmm. cover after two three days because mm -hmm. sometimes it happens we are not able to understand that particular topic in the one go so what should okay. we do yeah okay if you find any topic hard just not try to uh, stuck into it at once because because even if you if you studied it uh, if you studied it whole and uh, even then after that you find it hard then next time you will avoid to study that okay i have studied that topic uh, so uh, i have studied the topic a lot so i i i would, I, I would suggest like uh, solve solve two to three questions every time it means like whenever you are going for that subject that topic solve two to three questions related to that topic uh, so whenever you are revising means uh, if if you are if you are if you are very much very much uh, i mean to say if you are not very much confident like you think that uh, yeah i cannot do this topic but just just, just make sure that uh, you keep solving questions related to that questions every week or like two or three questions just two or three yes, questions yes. in this way in this way you will you will be good in that topic because mm -hmm. uh, because you know um, get uh, you can solve previous year questions related to that topic uh, because yeah. if the topic is hard hard then it will be hard for everyone also yes, yes. don't don't you don't need to revolve around that topic like uh, you just stuck to that topic and wasted a lot of time no that's not. just solve two and three questions and every time whenever you are coming back just solve two or three questions related to that topic because at that's least enough. at least by those yeah. questions or the previous year yeah. question we we will be able to get ki yeah uh, what will be the level of the question asked mm. from that particular hard topic at least mm. we are prepared for that and then, and then and if the topic is really hard then mm, it will be hard for everyone and and you know pattern of get is like that uh, logic for the questions is repeated and for hard question it will repeat if it mm. if it's your luck like that the exam, uh, question came to the exam so then, it's better to prepare from yeah. the uh, questions at least yeah. you should practice the questions or the yeah. previous questions okay yeah. great so uh, moving on to the next question so mm -hmm. next question is like uh, the very important question you prepared by yourself like it was the self study or you uh, took the coaching also no i didn't took any coaching i prepared myself for get it was a self preparation okay for uh, both the years 2020 and 2021 also okay it was a quite great journey mm -hmm. uh, like and a motivation also for the our viewers that uh, it is not like uh, we can't prepare by self study 
Like, uh, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. as Pius has got the IIT, and in both the uh, 2020 and 21, he has yeah. got the very a uh, very good rank just mm-hmm. by the self study. So the thing that he focused is consistency and do not get demotivated. demotivated. These are the important things I should yeah. I think ki, which are very much uh, needed in the any of the exam or in the mm-hmm. life. So I think that help you very much because being technically uh, sound is the another thing. But these are the important thing. Okay, Piyush, next question is like uh, if we are getting less marks during our uh, you can say test series mock uh, mm-hmm. exams mm-hmm. during the gate preparation, then what should one do? Okay, see, um, whenever you will get less marks in mock interviews, you will, uh, yeah, it's for sure you will get demotivated. Yeah, see, uh, first of all, uh, it's for sure that uh, you you are going to be demotivated during certain points of time during your preparation, like mm-hmm. whenever you are getting less marks in mock interviews. So first thing is to remember uh, that nothing is going to be too much easy. As, as you know, IITs also need to maintain their standards. So you will have to pass on through some obstacles. And as I said, demotivation is the only only obstacle you need to pass. Uh, see, if you are consistent, if you are consistent and like, okay, if you, if you leave your preparation due to demotivations by giving the mock test or due to your preparation level, then it shows that you are not able to pass the only one obstacle that is demotivation. See, you are demotivation, as I said, uh, proves that uh, you are uh, you are serious about the exam. That's why uh, you all are demotivated, right? So if you get less marks in mock exam, then just analyze where uh, you got wrong, what concepts are you missing, and try to note down your mistakes so you don't repeat them again. See, uh, you, you you must have listened that uh, a single sheet of paper cannot decide uh, decide your life. But it, but it, but that's 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 not true. Some exams, like uh, including gate, uh, some exams has the capability that 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 can uplift your life. It's for sure. Like uh, if if you are here, then uh, if you pass any exam like UPSC, gate, IITZ, uh, if your life is here, then you can reach here. They have the capability to uplift your life, and uh, so this is the only motivation. This is the only motivation uh, you can give to yourself. That uh, just think, just think of your life after getting into IITs and after um, passing out through IIT and that will be enough to motivate yourself. Okay. It means we should, uh, we should uh, focus on we should our focus weakness on Weak, uh, yeah. and, and so, we should focus on our yeah. uh, goal that uh, like that can be my uh, turning point Okay, after getting a like, good score. So if we are uh, weak in one particular topic, Let's uh, note it down and basically, uh, basically work you, upon it. You just you just need to be in like uh, what we say in Hindi like jiddi. As for the childhood, we are like we are doing something for our parents. Our mom and dad are doing it. But now, now this is something that we can't do. We can only do it. 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 We can only it was in my heart that uh, I want to be an IITian, like from uh, final year, like uh, I heard like IIT's word mm-hmm. and so much. So mm-hmm. I have to be an IITian. Uh, so that is that that was the main reason why I didn't join um, in 2020, get 2020. Of course, I would get old IITs, mm-hmm. but then uh, IIT's uh, numbers in the Sunat, IIT Bombay, IIT Madras, ISC Bangalore and like that. So, so it means you had an eagle eye on your yeah, uh, goal. On your goal. Yeah. That's that cool. that is like answer for everything. Mm-hmm. That's answer for everything. Uh, 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 or you can say a strong determination that yeah. anything yeah. Uh, will happen, but I will yeah. not uh, move away from my uh, destination. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Great. So next question is ki, uh, like after we have given the uh, gate exam now next thing is uh, we have to prepare for the interviews like according to our rank we may uh, get the iit or we may get the let's say triple it nit or any of the uh, good mm-hmm. college so first question is ki uh, let's say uh, before the interviews or in preparing for the interviews what should be the gate score for getting the admission in the iits if we are talking mostly about the iits mm-hmm. what should be the gate score 
actually uh, i didn't appear for any of the interviews but um, but i know know about that uh, so uh, there are two criteria for selecting ids that is direct admission and direct guest gate based admission and uh, after your interview okay. so i think some of the colleges like uh, iit madras also take direct admissions only uh, they didn't take interviews like uh, if you want to get into top iits like uh, top 5 iits or top 3 iit iit bombay isc isc or iit madras then uh, you need to have a gate score uh, gate score of 820 plus or 800 plus you can say for the safer side you can assume 820 plus but if you have a uh, score more than of 800 then then you can get uh, yeah you must get uh, uh, top 3 iits uh, including isc isc iit bombay iit madras and then uh, if you have a gate score of then all the iits uh, you know lies in this range only like uh, for any of the iit you want to get and if you have an, a gate score of uh, 780 plus then you are in safe side you can get a uh, top 7 iits if you uh, have a score of 750 plus but for being in the safer side you must have a score of 780 or 790 plus okay. or even sometimes 800 plus okay. yes sir. okay so uh, next thing is like uh, so based on this uh, like on average 750 yeah, plus yeah. Uh, score we can decide ki what we are yeah. getting like iit so, or triple it uh, or nit so something like, like that. iit bombay uh, iit madras uh, takes direct admission without interview uh, so for that you you must have a gate score of 820 plus okay. 820 plus and uh, for and for other iit also as i mentioned 780 plus for being in safer side and now coming for interviews uh i can't exactly remember but yeah some of the iits i did allow yeah, before that, before that what was your gate score in the uh, like 2021 in 2021 i have a gate score of around uh, 755 7 uh, yeah 755 so that's why i am saying for being in safer side you must have a score of 785 plus 780 mm-hmm. plus to get yeah. top iits great because okay. like uh, in 400 rank till mm-hmm. 400 rank or not even 400 in general category 360 to 380 rank you can get top 7 iits no not below that so i was having in 436 rank i was in edge so yeah. so next huh? so next thing is ki, like how should we prepare for the interviews actually actually as i mentioned i didn't give any interview yeah i gave one interview for isc isc okay. bangalore i gave because this time pattern for uh, till previous years iit used to take only direct admissions but this time iit changed this time iit changed its pattern and it take a coding round also it took a coding round also uh, isc or iit isc bangalore isc okay, Bang- okay. ISC, bangalore okay let me tell you even if you have gotten rank of 1 even then you need to give a coding interview and oh. then in- interview so I, i i also gave the coding interview and coding round and interview for the isc so let me tell you my experience so there was a panel of four to five teachers uh, one of them asked me to tell my uh, two any two favorite subjects which i am confident in so i told them about my favorite subjects they were computer networks and discrete mathematics i like discrete mathematics uh, so they asked questions related to computer networks there are almost four to five questions like uh, uh basics of computer network like tcp um, header size of tcp you know no, not like this basic also yeah related to protocols only what computer uh, computer networks and only protocols uh, revolving around those like layers physical layer what is the work of physical layer link layer, logical link layer uh, and then and then one teacher asked me uh, two to three good questions from probability Uh, yeah and the questions were very good I means their level was very good so but teachers were very good they even helped me to reach answers when i was stuck in some of the uh, yeah, answers and one any one of them asked me about uh, any research i have done bef- in past uh, so i was not into research uh, i never wrote any research paper I even not studied any research paper so i directly said no sir uh, i didn't i haven't wrote any research paper so yeah it was all and and some of my friends friends told uh, from other colleges who gave the interviews interviews uh, were like this only like if you have uh, like if you give your resume to there 
then whatever you have mentioned in your resumes, uh, you should be confident about that. Otherwise, don't mention it. You see, they are professors like uh, they are very high qualified professors. They can they can they can catch you in a single. You know, they will see you once uh, you are saying right or wrong. They will know. So if you are confident, then only write them in resume. Otherwise, uh, directly say no. Don't try to. <laughs> Blub, blub yeah. uh, I have done this thing, yeah. this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do not just write the keyword and having no uh, knowledge of that, uh, it will create a bad impact. Mm -hmm. Let's say we have got a particular score, mm -hmm. okay, uh, and we are like uh, in dilemma whether we can get the IIT or should we uh, like fill the form for the triple ITs also mm -hmm. for the NITs also? Should I go for the CCMT that is for the NIT counseling also, mm -hmm. or what should I do? Like. How many forms should I fill? Like when okay. we are not sure. So according to you, what should we do in that situation? Okay, I would suggest to to play safe, right? Uh, try to be safe in every situation. Like uh, if you are filling forms, like suppose you are getting uh, rank of around three fifty, or let's say three eighty. Okay, three eighty. Let's say three eighty. Mm, okay, all India rank three eighty. Yeah, all India rank three eighty. Great. And yeah. There are good chances that you will get top seven IDs, but there are this is seventy thirty that you can yeah because get. it depends on the interviews also right yeah. apart from depends the gate ranking yeah. yeah so yeah you you must play safe so you can fill the forms for other triple IDs you can go for CCMT counseling also uh, because top NITs are also are also very good like yes all the product based companies also visits there. They level up to IDs also, so yeah, just being safer side uh, according to your gate score. So like, uh, this is also a case like uh, if you are from say general category and you are getting four hundred, then you don't need to fill the forms for IID Bombay, like IID Bom IID Bombay IID Bombay, Bombay will not get uh, not give admission below ninety rank hmm. or eighty or ninety rank. Uh, and and uh, same same comes here. If you are getting ninety ranks and if you want IID Bombay. Just play safe. Uh, there are high chances that you might not get ID Bombay, so you need to fill other forms also. Yeah, that's just you need to be safe. Like okay. uh, just fill the forms. Okay, great. Okay, so next question is, uh, like after all these interviews and all, we are now in our uh, college. Mm -hmm. So let's say, uh, according to you, you are in uh, IIT Madras. Yes, so many times. Uh, or you can say sometimes we feel that okay, uh, we are going into the IIT. Mm -hmm. So, kuch, is there anything that we should prepare before the interviews also? Like before going to the IIT, mm -hmm. should there be like pre preparation before going into the IIT? Yeah, you will not get so much of time because uh, you will be busy in, first in counseling, then you will be think of your interviews, and then at last moment when you will get admission, then after 10 to 15 days, your classes will be commenced. Yeah, you can. You do not need to study much about, but like uh, some topics like probability, it is must. Mm -hmm. Which are like, uh, which are like, probability, yeah, probability or coding. You can say you can do some competitive coding at that time. Okay, okay. that's fine. Okay. So let's say we uh, enter into the IIT. Let's say uh, let me ask you, ki you are now in the IIT, and now uh, you're like about to complete the. You can say second semester also although it has started but uh, so what are the like assignment projects level that are given in the iit or mm -hmm. what is the mindset of the uh, students who are mm -hmm. like studying there or how uh, we can do good about our studies or how we should study should we study in group mm -hmm. in the iit to survive there or what mm -hmm. should be our cgpa something like that like how one can survive in the iit so that okay. he can achieve his goal. Let's say some yeah. goal can be like getting the placement. Mm -hmm. Some goal can be like uh, good in the research. So overall, yeah. how to maintain a good pointer, CGPA pointer? Because mm -hmm. I think one night study will not help in the oh, IIT. Yeah. So what is your advice or what is your experience? You would not able to do like a one night fight in uh, after coming to IIT. Okay. Like. Mm, like professors will keep you so much busy in assignments, doing your projects, etc. You will you will get a lot of learning. Also, you will uh, find them quite interesting. 
like uh, let me give you an example uh, of one of my subject that was linear algebra and random process uh, so all all courses follows like that only i am giving example of lrp okay so basically we used to get an assignments uh, every after 10 days and the assignments were like you cannot finish them before 10 days like you will you will you will have to busy there you, you know you 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 will have not you will not have any free time so you will every nothing nothing is there for free like uh, even every assignments will contain some marks mm -hmm. if you got caught in plagiarism then you will your marks will get deducted so uh, marks marks are not like here like uh, you have to give exams no uh, some of uh, it depends on teacher some of the teacher do not uh, at all take exams like they will distribute marks to a uh, class participants and assignments uh, and other thing so uh, they will not keep you free like uh, you cannot do like one night fight like uh, there is any subject and you are saying that okay i will study it last day no it can it cannot be like uh, here you have to do practical works also practical work also related to every subject uh so yeah you have to do some lab work for uh, any subject then assignments for those subjects so yeah that's all uh, you uh, one night fight is not a strategy for here uh, maybe it is in uh, most of the institution that uh, there is a relative grading yeah yeah, yeah so uh, so it's 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 good thing also but it's also bad thing when you are thinking of one night fight like yes Uh, because uh, relatively, relatively, then you will be so much back than all those students who are who are studying there. Yes. If you're not, uh, if you're not studying, so you have to study there. You have to study again, whole semester. Uh, again, I think uh, the one thing that you mentioned um, during the gate preparation that was like the consistency and mm. that thing. So and here you also. should be like consistent from the yeah, starting after, of the after course. After coming to IIT, you will feel like uh, like preparation for gate was. it was very 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 much uh, like not easy but compared to here because here it is uh, everything is too much hectic right there you have you can make schedules yourself you get get to present life uh, feels quite uh, quite relaxing or relaxing not too, quite good there mm -hmm. <laughs> so gate was this yeah, much yeah. and here and it here, is like that 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 is why that is why they are taking gate exam that is why they are giving up such competitions so we we are prepared to tackle all yes, things yes. there in yeah. ideas you should be like mentally prepared mm -hmm. because we have passed that yeah. prestigious exam mm -hmm. okay one last question is what is the curriculum or you can say what are the different subjects that we can uh, like uh, take uh, in the iit madras mm -hmm. because it will give us the motivation ki okay these are the subjects and we can choose these things so what are the electives or compulsory subjects yeah. or what are the, uh, what is the like uh, You can say project work, thesis. Is there any thesis work and so on? So please uh, tell us this. So unlike most of the other colleges, we in IIT Madras do not have course work in all four semesters. Like we have subjects in only first two semesters, and then in last two semesters we have project. Mm -hmm. Like okay, and let me tell you, in first semester we have to choose two courses that are mandatory, that are core subjects. Those were advanced programming lab and advanced data structures and algorithms and remaining subjects for elective you can choose any number of elective like 1 2 or 3 and that's your choice uh, so uh, remaining in the, uh, i i selected uh, linear algebra and random process and uh, machine learning pattern recognition and machine learning as my electives okay. mm, so and in second sem mm, there is no core course uh, all are electives means we are free to choose any of the courses okay I have chosen four courses uh, in this semester. Basically, I am in second semester. Uh, so my subjects are deep learning, NLP, digital test design, and uh, the last one is fine grain algorithms. I mean, you can choose yourself. Uh, uh, you are free to choose any of the subjects. Okay. We have no uh, thesis or any research work. Uh, then we in third or fourth semester we need to do a project under any professor. One small question. uh you mentioned the advanced data structure mm -hmm. that you can take in the first semester right yes sir so uh, like uh, what is uh, taught in that particular subject why i'm asking uh, because we study data structure or the yeah. coding thing uh, before the gate exam also right so yeah. what is the content so full subject name is advanced data structure and algorithms uh, so it covers most of the parts of advanced algorithms 
right uh, which we didn't studied uh, well in during our engineering time okay so like uh, we uh, corman is a famous book mm -hmm. so uh, very few selected topics were taught to us during like uh, yeah like undergraduate right. yeah uh, like uh, those important algorithms uh, those also uh, and those also uh, are not taught in very deep uh, deep level na? Mm -hmm. so here uh, here we uh, everything everything in algorithm was covered like uh, we we went to details of every topic we explored every topic like uh, yeah so that was all okay so it means going into the detail of the uh, pre uh, 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 like they like 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 basically professors uh, professors teach you like uh, you are going to the area of research they taught you in the way like uh, you have to go to the research for like they create interest in you and they explore the subject in the way that you are going to have a research in that subject okay so uh, great pius it was a, like a very informative motivating experience and motivating interview with you so pius thank you very much for you, being with here thank you so i hope you have enjoyed this video and i also hope that you will get benefit from this motivating journey of pius so if you want to get connected with pius you can connect with him on linkedin so you can get the link of the uh, linkedin profile of pius in the video description below okay so please do like and share this video and also share this video among your friends so that they also get benefited by this video so do comment this video and if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification of such type of video i actually make the content of the computer science and the interview experiences gate related and the placement related series okay so you can find all these content on my uh, youtube channel you can find the playlist link of the uh, various topics okay in the description below so do watch this uh, video and please give a thumbs up or like on this video okay so based on the like on this video i will make the other content okay for you so do give me the feedback okay that how are you liking this video so it give me motivation to make other such content okay so do comment and do like on this video so see you in the next video till then goodbye